In this project, we are going to be experimenting with watercolors and making a color wheel umbrella. Here are the materials you will need. Let's get started. In step number one, we're going to draw the outline of our umbrella. Start by placing a dot in the middle at the top of your paper, then use your paper ruler to draw a plus. Using the same method, go back and make an X. For this part, you have the option to use a curved line or a straight line to connect each point. In step two, we're going to draw the human underneath of our umbrella. I am drawing a simple human underneath with a raincoat on and boots. Make sure to pause the video if you need to follow along. Don't forget that your puddle is an oval shape, but it's kind of a wiggly oval shape. Now go back with a permanent marker and outline all of your pencil lines. It's very important that it is a permanent marker as we will be using watercolor later. Now I'm going to go back in with crayons and add color to the human and the puddle. Do not color in your umbrella. In step four, we're going to use watercolors to paint our umbrella. For this, we are just simply painting each triangle a different color, but making sure to follow the color wheel. I always like to start with red. I go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You may notice that our color wheel or our umbrella has more spaces than we just talked about. That's because we're going to learn a few new watercolor skills, so pay close attention. The first thing I want to talk to you about is how to make a color lighter than what it is in your paint palette. We're going to do that with blue. So to make a lighter blue, I'm just going to make sure I'm using more water. So every time I get a little paint on there, I just barely dip it in my water to make sure it lightens it up and I get a light blue. Then we'll paint the blue and the purple like normal. So this time we just don't have a whole lot of water just our normal water to wake up our watercolor set. Now I'm gonna show you how you can mix watercolors right on your paper. Quickly apply your first color, in this case it is red, and then again quickly apply your second color, in this case purple, for a red-purple color. I can't wait to see how yours turned out. 